hello my loves welcome back to my channel it's Deb here so in today's video as you can see from the title all about lashes we get it into the 25 millimeter lashes okay let's get it together I think it's 25 millimeter it's 25 mm y'all know I'm assuming it's millimeter but anyway <laughs> But yeah, so we get it all into these lashes. Y'all have been requesting, requesting, requesting. Even though I have a few tutorials on my page about lashes, like putting them on. Y'all still want an in-depth tutorial, so what better way than YouTube, you know what I'm saying? Period, period. So, I'm going to be putting on a few different styles for you guys. I'm going to show you how I use my nails, my my grabbers to put on the lashes as well um, I'm gonna tell you about a few different companies you can buy from all that good stuff so definitely stay tuned if you um, want like just more of a quick like kind of step-by-step tutorial feel free to go on my Instagram at Beats by Deb or my Facebook at Beats by Debra to check out the in-depth videos so as you can see i just did a very light natural beat just not, nothing major you know what i'm saying i wanted to do a full face just to give you the full effect of how these lashes would look if you wanted to go natural with it now for me with a beat like this i would sometimes i'll go for a real dramatic lash but not for the most part i'll go more for a like semi-dramatic not like the 25 millimeter boys okay not the 25 mm's but to each his own, you know what I'm saying? I love a dramatic lash. I just like it, like it better with some eyeshadow or something crazy going on on my lid. But like I said, to each his own. <laughs> Rock that lash. Okay, baby, I'm just saying. I, my eye shape and stuff, I'm, I like it better when I have a cut crease or something going on, you know? So basically, I had just put concealer and set my eyelids to start out. And one hack with putting on lashes for me is I'm going to show you like three ways of how to apply them as in like using glue and stuff like that so let's start off with glue i absolutely love duo lash glue it's my favorite it is my all-time favorite these are my four favorite go-to lash glues um as of right now i love this one for clients and i'll tell you why in a minute this is the black one and it has a wand attached to it or uh yeah it has a wand applicator attached to it this one i don't really use this for lashes i feel like it doesn't stay as long as you want them to this is the clear one um and i found that this clear one doesn't really work well for lashes but it works really good for glitter this is my glitter go-to glue this is the only glitter glue i use i don't use primers i don't use like the nyx glitter primer anymore this right here a sparkle different with this glue i'm trying to tell y'all okay but yeah that's for glitter glue but these three right here are really good this one is really good as well if you want your lashes to stay all day you know what i'm saying i use this for clients as well and it is the dark tone duo strip lash glue it's like kind of it dries kind of like eh, i wouldn't say black but more like gray if you can see on the tip here and then I have the white clear lash glue as well. If you're gonna apply like black um, lash glue, I will always have eyeliner somewhere in there to make it look more finished and everything. You'll see what I mean when I put the lashes on. But first off, I'm gonna start with eyeliner before I apply anything. Eyeliner and mascara are must haves. Like you have to do those two steps, I feel like. Because mascara is going to hide your, you know how you do your whole makeup routine and then your lashes aren't black anymore. They're like, you know, they got concealer and all that garbage all over them. So you want to cover that, you want them to blend into your lashes. So you definitely want to use mascara. Today I'm just using this Kiss New York uh, mascara. I ain't going to lie to y'all. I don't care nothing about mascara. I'm always going to, I'm never going to walk out with this face. I'm always going to have some lashes on. So like i'm not the type to just wear lashes you know so i have to have them blending in i don't care about the mascara not really i'm not just gonna have his face put on some mascara and leave like no because my lashes not that long you know what i'm saying if i had some long lashes by all means but girl they're not that long to where they look like falsies you know what i'm saying so and then this is the best um eyeliner ever in life like i don't care what anyone says the next one is really good too but girl I love it the wand is like the best the actual formula is amazing the way it dries down is really really nice so I'm just gonna start by putting a really really 
um, thin line of this across each of my eyelids. So I'm just starting off by putting a really thin layer of the eyeliner across my lash line. I don't want to make it too thick, just somewhere to have a guide to where I can put my lashes at. So it'll blend in perfectly when I put them on. Even if I make a mistake, the eyeliner is there so you won't be able to see it. Now I'm going to go in with my IMV um, Bold and Long Mascara by Kiss. And I'm just going to coat my la my real lashes so they blend in really nicely when I add my falsies. I don't care about making them long, girl, none of that. I just need them coated so they black, so they blend in with these falsies. Yeah, you know I'm saying? Next, it's time for the lashes, honey. Okay, so... This is my lash tray by Shop Jackie M. I love her lash trays. Honestly, they're amazing. This will be included in my giveaway this week, so definitely check that out, okay, honey? Come on now. I also have to include my baby right here. Their lash books and their lash trays. Woo-wee, honey. I mean, do we? Come on. Just take a second, okay? Just take a second and appreciate this. I mean, like, what? Crystal Lashes, I love their lashes as well. I also love Caked Up Brand on Instagram. Their lashes are amazing as well. I've been using them for a while now too. If you wanna, if you are a little skeptical and you don't know where you wanna buy from, these are some really trusted, really great companies. I'm just letting y'all know. And also Beat by Ride Cosmetics. You have been seeing me using her stuff in the last few tutorials I've been posting. I love, love, love her lashes, her products as well. So definitely check out these companies. Let me know what you guys think if you do order from them. Now, okay, so every time I post something on Instagram about lashes, somebody, somebody in my comments is coming for me talking about, oh, girl, I can find those on AliExpress. Like, I went and I shopped and I got my lashes for $3 off by AliExpress. Okay, look. Can I be bougie and buy mine from a company that I trust? Okay. I have a hard time looking for stuff on AliExpress. I'm not the type that can sit there and dig. I mean dig for some good lashes. Look at all the reviews, all this crazy stuff. All these stories about, oh, my lashes didn't show up. They don't look like the picture, blah, blah, blah. I'm straight on all that. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to go and get what I know. And what I know is these companies, and I know they dope. To each his own. Like I said, if you want to go on AliExpress, buy all means. You know what I'm saying? There's videos out there with people with success stories but is it consistent is my thing it done with my little rant <laughs> let's move forward Deb. <laughs> anyway so i'm just gonna start off with a pair of lashes from foreign lux nyc this is called the um baddie number one lashes so well i'm gonna apply one on one eye so i'm gonna, I'm gonna apply one baddie uh nyc lash on this eye right here i'm gonna use the first method which is the i'm gonna look down in the mirror method I'm gonna apply my dark lash glue all on the band. So I'm not gonna do it very thick. I'm not gonna do it real thin. I'm just gonna make sure it's nice and coated. Now when applying lash glue, I also want to make sure that I don't just get this underneath part of the lash line. But I also want to get a little bit of this top part just because when you do sit your lashes on, you want to make sure that they're actually glue on that part to adhere to the eyelid, to the lash line. So with these bigger lashes, I like to take my thumb, this part of my hand, and this part of my hand. I'm making it into a straight line as you can see. I'm making sure everything is to where I can see it. I'm just gonna wait till this gets a little tacky. Now usually, this is a good method too, is I will apply the lash glue and then I will quickly apply my eyeliner and my mascara. And by the time I'm done with that, then the lashes will be tacky enough to apply them. If you, you trying to save time, you know what I'm saying? Cause usually I'm like in a rush and I'm like, okay, like let's get this together. You know what I'm saying? 
and I like this lash glue as well because you can tell when it's tacky because it turns a little bit darker like it's drying down so I have a mirror here um, that I'm going to use and I'm just gonna look down into the mirror I'm gonna make it nice and straight like I said now everyone's like how do you use your how do you apply lashes with nails like oh my god girl the nails are the tweezers you know what i'm saying they're my tweezers like i'm just stating facts instead of using being bougie and using little tweezers click clacking away with my nails you know what i'm saying so i'm just gonna use my left hand because i'm right handed i'm gonna use my left hand i'm gonna look all the way into this mirror right and i'm literally just going to sit my lash you you want to make sure you go over your lashes you don't want your lashes to be sticking out and you want to go right in the middle of your lash line right now all i have stuck so far yeah it's looking like a spice looking real spiderish at the moment but all i did was stick the middle part in so as i'm looking down in my mirror i'm then gonna take the outer corner lift and set lift and set and then I'm gonna take my inner corner, lift off your lashes, make sure it's on top of your lashes, not in them, and set. Lift and set, sis. Now I'm taking my tweezers and I'm just clamping my lashes to my, my fake lash. Sometimes the inner corner can act up. You want to make sure it's nice and adjusted. It's placed right. It's not going to irritate you throughout the day. You know what I'm saying? And you can make sure and tell that your lash is actually on. You want to turn to the side. You want to put your hand right here. Make sure it's actually no spaces between that fake lash and your lash line. So, like right here, this was lifting up. And I wouldn't have known that if I didn't check. All right, so moving on to method number two, I'm gonna use a different pair of lashes for this method. Um, it really doesn't matter. I just kind of want to show y'all what each of these lashes is looking like. You know what I'm saying? Now I'm going to use a pair of Beat by Ride Cosmetics uh, 25 millimeter lashes. This is her packaging. It says Big Blink or Little Blink. Um, I think Big Blink says <laughs> period. <laughs> so. I'm just gonna take these out and yes I've worn these so like let me get the glitter off of these because you know me and my glitter <laughs> okay so for this method I'm gonna use a different kind of glue I'm gonna use the white clear glue um, and I use this glue when I'm not wearing any eyeliner like say I just have all glitter on my eyes or something like that and I don't want any black eyeliner or anything like that then I'm gonna use my white clear glue because I want it to dry down a certain way I'm just gonna take the lash I'm holding it like this how you would with your tweezers I'm using my nail and my forefinger right here and I'm just gonna take the lash glue and I'm gonna go all the way around the band Don't put too little, but don't put too much as well. And as you can see, it's nice and coated. So I'm, I will pull my skin. I'm going to pull my eye. Now I'm not saying to go crazy and pull your eye off. You know what I'm saying? We're just going to lightly, gently just cl slightly close your eye look down slightly close your eye and just pull it a little bit i'm grabbing it towards the middle of the lash because that's where i want it to be the most secure starting out i'm gonna gently just grab my eye i am looking through both of my eyes but i'm looking slightly down and i'm gonna set my lash right on top of my lash line okay it's right in the center there i'm gonna grab my eye once again it's closed now basically i'm using this eye to see and i'm gonna go to this inner corner just set that on there make sure it's nice and secure the only reason it won't stay at the moment is because if it doesn't stay at the moment it's not um tacky enough yet but it's okay it will in a minute and i'm gonna do my outer corner oh my god i look so crazy with one lash on is this a look like no anyways on to the next method so for this last method, I am going to use the brand Caked Up brand on Instagram. And I'm going to use the Vita B lashes. Um, these are like my go-to lashes that pretty much every one of these brands sell, which is the 
kind of wispier type of lash how they do have the ones that are long then short long short long short and in between that kind of thing i go for more of this kind of lash because it does look really nice i feel like with a natural beat like how i have on today so i'm gonna use my last type of lash glue by duo which is the dark one which dries black and it dries shiny now for this method which i really recommend for beginners if you're good at if you are comfortable with eyeliner i really recommend doing this and i do this for my clients as well i do a thin layer of lash glue across my eyeliner or my lash line so i draw my black eyeliner on like how i have now and then i take my lash glue and i draw a thin layer across here and on my lashes just to ensure that they'll stick that everything will be good like You'll see after I draw it, it's going to dry down very shiny, but I like to cover that back up after I apply my lashes. I like to cover it back up with another layer of eyeliner so it looks really finished and everything. First, I'm going to apply my thin layer of lash glue onto the lashes. I'm going to go right across this lash band and then I'm going to set that down and now I'm going to take um. And I also like using this because it does have a wand, which is really easy to apply the lash glue. So I'm going to go right over this eyeliner. Make sure you go all across your eyeliner because this is for beginners who really, really struggle with this. I definitely recommend this method like especially if you have trouble with your inner and outer corners you could just put glue right there if that's like your tr trouble spots but I like to do this with clients because it really does ensure your lashes to be hanging on for dear life like I do it on the lash and the lash line and it really helps a lot this right here this dry real quick I ain't gonna hold you so I'm gonna go right in with my lash And these are all pre-cut as well so if they're too long for you definitely cut them some trim them up um you want us you want this to start right here and in right here you don't want it to go off to the side or anything like that because they start making your eye look really droopy and some people have really small eyes and need to cut quite a bit of the lash off mine are pre-cut because i've already wore all of these but definitely go in and make sure they're cut nicely i'm gonna use that same method to where i'm like using my nails and I'm making but I'm making the lash um, straight before I apply it I'm just gonna look down into my mirror here and literally sit it right on top of the lash glue you see that it's literally stuck it's like this is like the easiest method ever and for my other eye And my last step with this method is I am going to take a thin layer, another thin layer of eyeliner and go right across it because it does look a little bumpy, you know what I'm saying, with the lash glue. And it is quite sticky because it's so much lash glue was, was used. So I'm going to go and use a thin layer of lash of eyeliner and go right over it. And voila, as you can see, we're all set, lashes secure. You know what I'm saying? They on there, sis. They ain't moving. They are not moving. And my last thing is I just like to put a little bit of mascara on my bottom lashes. And we're all set. As you can see, we are all set. Lashes on. Okay, ready to fly away. Yes, yes. Period, period. I hope you all thoroughly enjoyed this tutorial. Please try each method, whichever one works for you. Please definitely use it. Let me know, DM me, and let me know if it works for you and which method you never thought of trying. Go on my Instagram right now, check out the mini tutorial, and comment down below if you try any of these methods and if they helped you a little bit, a lot, if you already knew them. Or if you even know like a, another method to try, definitely let me know. Because like I said, I still struggle with lashes to this day. Like not crazily, but sometimes I definitely mess up. And that's okay. You just try and try again. Practice does really help. So definitely keep on trying. 
please like comment and subscribe and let me know if these um methods helped you at all um let me know what you guys think and if you have any companies that you love to buy from if you do have the links to the aliexpress lashes link them down below let me know what you guys think i'll see you all in my next tutorial